project for today is a turntable. What I've got, this right here was one of those, you get them over yonder at, uh, at the, at the Chinese place there where they sell them tools that they hauled over here on the big boat. This right here was, it was right there. One was down here on that end, and one was up on this end right here. I said, done already sawed them off there. It is the swivel. This was, a, this is a fixed one, and it's a wheel bracket. Them cast iron wheels comes in these things. Get them, and you don't need these here because you put an axle through the wheel yonder, and you got this thing left over. And it's a good heavy duty. It is a real good heavy duty swivel. I needed a turntable for a project I'm working on, so what I'm going to do is the center point. The important part of this is the, this center point of this boat right here should end up as the center point in this piece of metal. It's quarter inch by something. This is uh, a good workable height, and, and I'm going to weld this right along here on both sides. And this distance from here to here, you don't build up too much heat, so you don't have to take this apart to take your bearings out. You can weld it like this. If you need it lower or higher, you can adjust it by how much you cut these things off. A few years ago, I was over yonder to the yard sale, and these things right here are some kind of spray nozzles. They're stainless steels. What you do is you put the ruler on yonder, and you adjust this for the size that you need. And you can get a up to up to when you run out of threads, but from there down to the working is quite easily adjustable the working height one and three quarters of an inch is my working height on this project here you set all of these and you just twist it on the thread there they are a coarse thread it would be somewhat better if it was a fine thread i'm going to i want this to be the same height all the way around so i put one under each corner i'm going to put a c-clamp I, I will determine a center line here center of this boat to the center of this plate here just by running a, a cross i adjusted these jacks all to the same height positioned one under each corner two c clamps is all that i'm going to use i did use the square to get a measurement from this point of this the edge of this metal down here over to the edge from this edge to this edge will give me a alignment point because this is square, this is square. So what I did is I, I used the square down yonder, aligned it with the edge of the material there, and that way I can check it on all four corners in this direction, and it is the same. And then I reset the square, set it on all four corners in this direction, and it is square that way. Clamped it down, so that means that the center point is in the center of the base metal. On this particular one here, I am going to cut a circle of plywood and bolt to the top. I want a round top on it. I'm going to go uh, weld this now, and then we'll break it down and uh, look at it after we get it welded.
a little Hobart welder I'm using seems to work really good. I think this probably does have some type of cadmium, some kind of zinc maybe plating on, on this metal. So I do like to weld this outdoors, uh, at least underneath a fan. do have pretty good you see that mark on the bottom that means you got penetration we got her welded back in here on the workbench if you remember this was a swivel version of this thing had one of them cast iron wheels in it when we brought it home sawed these legs off Went out there, welded it on yonder. We got a real nice little turntable there. If you want to use it like it is, you can bolt that part down to the workbench right here where we at, or anywhere, and then you have a perfectly good turntable. The beauty of this is it actually costed very little. Uh, this piece of metal here was just out of the junk bin back there. Uh, have no idea what it started life as. And this would have ended up in the uh, junk bin also. So, but what I am going to do is, uh, y'all recognize that? That's a 12 inch circle. I'm going to cut that out of a real nice piece of plywood. Probably varnish it up. And then I'll mount it right on top yonder. And if I want to put something on there to work on, then I will have a perfectly real nice turntable. We're going to get on to something else now. And with a little rust oleum done already put up on it, it's ready to go into service. A perfectly good turntable. 